today on Next Top Trainer. Oh my God! Here, up, here, up. What's missing is your ability to put it all together. We gotta wake up, we gotta get going. Who knows what they're gonna throw at us today. So. Hey guys. How's it going? Good. Group's looking a little bit smaller today. I even forgot when we got up this morning. I was waiting for the other two, and it's just it's just weird. To grab your gym bag. Mm -hmm. Competition is real. Six of you are still in the running to be Men's Health Next Top Trainer. The winner will get to contribute to Men's Health Magazine and also get to star in his own fitness DVD. Contestants, we have a new guest judge with us today, Bruce Mack, co-founder of Men's Health Thrive. Now, Kevin, how are you feeling today? Are you nervous? I was towards the bottom of the pile in the second challenge. I really didn't like the way you presented that exercise. It, sometimes you got to get punched in the face before you really want to punch back, so I'm, I'm ready to compete. Now, you guys have been through two tough challenges already, and two contestants were sent home. In today's challenge, we're going to test your creativity and your knowledge of exercise equipment. On this field, there will be a pile of six pieces of exercise equipment. Some of them are well known, some of them are not. You guys have to race one another to get the piece of equipment that you want. Okay, all right. Uh -oh. The first piece that you touch is the one that you have to use. I just have a feeling there's gonna be something funky. If they gave us a shake weight, that'd really throw me for a loop. Once you have your piece of equipment, you'll have five minutes to explain the benefits of the piece of equipment to our judges and to demonstrate various exercises using that piece of equipment. You're in sales right now. You're going to be selling this exercise, this piece of equipment, so that's what I'm looking for. When a carpenter comes to your house to fix something, he doesn't just have a hammer in his toolbox. A variety of tools based on what the job is, what needs to be fixed, and that's much the same with the trainer. If it was a piece of wood, I'd want you to make it out to be the best possible workout tool there is. You're basically becoming a spokesperson for the product. I'm sure there's going to be at least one thing out there I'm going to be like, oh man. So whatever I have for that minute is the best piece of equipment, and that's all I'm going to let my mind remember. I want these guys to be able to, to tell me why they would use a certain piece of exercise equipment, why it's that specific one, and for what specific reason. There is no format for this. It's what you want to do with your five minutes, OK? Five minutes to explain a piece of equipment. Uh, most people who know me, you guys know I like to talk. Think you guys can do it? Yeah. You guys ready to race? Let's go. All right, let's do it. I'm just going to go see what there is and think on the fly and take it from there. Based on what I saw so far, I think the person that might stand out the most in this competition, just on energy and passion, is probably Joe Carabasi. Definitely feels good to have him won the last challenge. Let's move. Three, two, one, zero. My name is Joe Carabasi, and I am from South Windsor, Connecticut. One of the hardest things I had to overcome from a physical standpoint was three ACL reconstructions. I can't sprint, I can't jump, I can't do any power cleans, I can't lift heavy. I can't do a lot of these things. So through my own physical limitations, I've been able to find strength in, it, in education because it forced me to think outside the box and to be able to help people of all fitness levels. The thought of becoming Men's Health Next Stop Trainer really does leave me speechless. I mean, when I saw the opportunity, I was like, whoa, I jumped on it and ended up registering for the women's contest. I was so excited, I didn't read everything. This opportunity would allow me to help positively impact 1.8 million people and it would be an absolute joy. And I can tell you right now, they will not find a harder working person or someone who's more passionate to helping people than me. All right, gentlemen, we got the Fitness Cornucopia Challenge here, basically a fitness version of the Hunger Games. You've got six pieces of equipment over there. A kettlebell, a towel, a resistance band, a water bag, a box, and a lacrosse ball. I'm hoping to grab a resistance band. I love using them. I'm gonna have you guys bear crawl to get there. But this is Next Top Trainer. So we got something you have to do before you bear crawl over. I want 25 perfect full range of motion push-ups. None of this hammer time stuff. Chest touches down, full extension, full lockout. And then you're gonna bear crawl. This is why I never wear jeans. You're gonna bear crawl to get to your tool of choice. Touch it, that's yours. Might want to get there first. This is where all of us should thrive, you know? 25 full range of motion push-ups. You bear crawl, whatever you touch is yours. In three, two. Talk to myself in the mirror today, a thousand times. I'm just going to try to nail it. One, go. Perfect form, all the way up and down, full lockout. What tool will you pick? Who's going to be first? Who's going to be first? Oh my god. Oh my god. Pete, man, he was out. <laughs> Pete was like a little, a little animal. Pete, that's 
I got there, Pete had already scampered in front of me, so uh, it was either towel or kettlebell, and I just grabbed the kettlebell. No, Andy got it, and then Theo got the band, and I'm like, oh, I'll take this ball. So by the time I finished my push-ups, I looked up, and I was like, oh my god, everyone's already going. Whatever you touch is yours. First I was like, uh-oh, this is, and then I was like, no, you know what? You got nothing to lose with the towel. All right, trainers, you have your weapons. I hope you chose wisely. I went right after the sandbag because I figured it would be the, the best one for me to explain. I got to the piece of equipment that I wanted, the resistance band. Now, Joe, you won yesterday's challenge. Take a look at all the other tools that the trainers have chosen. You can swap with one person if you wish. Otherwise, you can keep your box. Well, I'm happy with the box. I'm very confident with my chance with this challenge. Okay. Your decision's made. Kevin, you were the last person to arrive. I ended up with a towel, but I think I have a fun way to, to spin this. There is something universal about a towel that each of these pieces of equipment don't have. I'm super excited for this challenge. We've randomly selected your names. You guys ready? Yeah, absolutely. All right, you guys want to know who's going first? Yeah, absolutely. Kevin. There's really no down to a towel. Like, it's a towel. Hey, guys, Kevin Mullins here with the Men's Health Top Trainer. I'm coming to you today with a piece of equipment that I know each and every one of you have. It's in your closet, it's in your bathroom. One of the guys with the toughest pieces of equipment was Kevin. But today we're going to talk about a towel just so we can get ready for the beach. I have used uh, towels as a workout tool. So we're going to lay it out, make sure it's nice and tight. So we're going to get in our favorite plank position. Towel, mat, same difference. We're going to extend our toes out in front of us, hands over our head. Instead of just lying on it, you can focus a lot on isometrics and you can just show how to hold in different positions, how to use it to get good form on different moves. Here, up, here, up. Laying on it was as, <laughs> as creative as you could have been. We're going to lean up, chest high, and hold a bicep squeeze. Hold this for 30 seconds. I think I did really well. I'm just going to reserve judgment to the judges. Here, up, here. So Pete, uh, the water bag, did it surprise you that it was a water bag and not a sandbag? Yes, it did. Because the, <laughs> and I was like, it's a sandbag. So I got sand, the word in my head, and I'm like, it's a water bag. Does that throw, is that a curveball at all? Uh, yes and no. So see what happens. It's uh, whatever is inside it. It's still the bag that counts, right? Show us what you got in three, two, one. Today we're going to show you a tool that is really, really amazing. <sighs> I froze, like I, I felt myself freeze for a second. I was like, what am I gonna talk about? A sandbag is a, a, a tool you could use that it can be full body movement. You can use full body movements, you can gain some strength through it, all right? Elbows are nice and tight, shoulder width apart, we're gonna push that butt back. Stand up nice and tall. Notice how I controlled my movements, guys. I really want you to gain control as you're doing things. Really push back. I feel like through the middle was a little jumbled up. This one really puts you in a sick, uh, sticking, Safe shoulder. And I start to get lost and I just tried to close with whatever I could. What's up guys, Joe Kirabasi here with the Men's Health Next Top Trainer. Joe had great energy and he was a little more put together today. So we're gonna stack our hands under our shoulders, push your toes down, belly button to spinal cord. We're gonna bring our left knee to our left elbow, squeeze your obliques, one, two, squeeze up, one, two. He brings so much life to it. He's electric, man. Whatever you have, make it work, use this box and get after it. I think I did pretty good. Next, we've got the band and Theo. The resistance band is one of my favorite tools. I was very pumped to get it. There are so many exercises you can do with this. I absolutely love it. We're going to go shoulder width with the band, hold it up a little bit. We're going to take little steps. Theo really has a way of like soothing your soul, and then you're just like, sure, here's my wallet. Hold it on your thumbs, put it on the middle of the back, keep it under the elbows, and then you get some extra uh, resistance right here, down and up. I call him Cool Dio. <laughs> you know, he's just real smooth. Hey everybody, Graham Mitchell here with the Men's Health Next Top Trainer. I have an interesting tool for you today and I'm gonna show you a couple ways you can use it. I definitely was happy with the ball because I do use it. So we're gonna sit on this lacrosse ball, all right? I like to cross my right leg over my left if I'm doing the right glute just to make sure I get a little added pressure on the piriformis. I drummed up the, the emotion of why such a simple thing like a lacrosse ball was, would be valuable to you. Take your lacrosse ball, now when I squeeze down with my knee, I have a self-correcting tool that I have that proper spinal alignment. You have to kind of make somebody want to do it. All right, final contestant, Andy. 
Hey guys, it's Andy Spear here with Men's Health Next Top Trainer. So today, as you can see, I got a kettlebell right on the floor. You can sell a swing. I mean, I don't know. I've sold a swing a million times already and I just am kind of bored with it. First of all, I just got to kind of, you know, not get so caught up in my head and, and, just, and just roll with it. I think we'll be good. A uh, couple mobility moves with the kettlebell. We're going to pick up the bell to our chest. I'm going to pop down in the bottom of my squat position trying to keep my thighs parallel to the floor. So I'm gonna get down on the floor. I'm gonna do one push up. I'm gonna drag the kettlebell underneath me to the other side. Take it and run with it. Um, yeah, I mean, I knew that was not my best performance. You're a tough act to follow, Joe. That was good, man. As I watch those other guys, I was like, oh man, I could've did that. Oh man, what did I do? Everybody probably did something amazing, just that, that resonates, and everybody probably did something that everybody was like, eh. Hey. All right, guys, that was an interesting challenge. Joe grabbed the box, and we gave him the opportunity to swap it out for any of the other tools here, and he kept it. What did you guys think? Technique-wise, I mean, he showed a couple moves. Uh, a dip with the hands behind is like a big no-no to a lot of trainers out there. And But you have the box, and you, you show the dip, and you could just go with a push-up. Yeah. You know, exactly. I, I don't know why you choose that. Pete was next. He grabbed the sandbag. Uh, which was actually a water bag, which kind of threw him off his game a little bit. Here's my concern is he went for the sandbag. That's what he wanted, he said. He was the first one. He shot out of there like a cannon. The thing about that water bag is I never found out why I should use it. He did miss that, and he did fumble a, a good amount. And This one really puts you in a sick, uh, sticking, safe shoulder. I can do overhead presses, some squats. I can do that with a barbell. Kevin, he went first, and he had the towel. Tough tool but he didn't use it for the first three minutes and 20 seconds of, of the video. So we're gonna get in our favorite plank position. Used it as a nice uh, little exercise mat yeah, for the and, first. And the Men's Health <laughs> logo was up, which is props to that. Yeah. He didn't really sell me on the towel. I don't know what you thought. Yeah, I took note. Um, creativity was something that he, I think he lacked, especially in the strength component, uh, a lot more usage of the towel. And next we had Graham. Now he probably had the toughest challenge today. He grabbed the lacrosse ball. I, I thought he was good on camera. I thought he uh, spoke well and he gave a lot of examples that a normal person can understand. Someone who's not in exercise in, in the fitness industry. I think he was one of the best today. Theo ran straight for the band. He said that he uses it all the time in his workouts. He laid out expectations really well. Here's six things. He showed them. He said what each would do and then he explained it. He only showed six and then he left um, a, a minute 20 in the tank. Our final contestant was Andy. I was underwhelmed at the information we got. There's a lot of stuff you can say about a kettlebell. I didn't get much of any of it. I don't even know really why I should use a kettlebell. All right, fellas, did you guys make your decision? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. All right, let's go tell the guys. Welcome back, trainers. So after that last challenge, our judges have discussed everyone's performances and they've chosen a winner who will get an advantage in tomorrow's challenge. And they've also chosen someone to eliminate today. So first of all, I'd like Joe, step forward. You are safe. You may head back to the locker room and wait for the other contestants. Thank you. Thank you. And leave the box, please. Yeah, <laughs> leave this here. <laughs> Theo, please step forward. Theo, you are also safe. You may head back to the locker room. The next contestant is Graham. So Graham, I was uh, really excited about the lacrosse ball. How do you think you did? I think I did okay. Uh, there was definitely a couple things I would have loved to have shown. I had a few cool options that I was telling myself right before I was gonna do, and then magically I forgot to do them. I think you did a great job explaining it and selling it. You showed you really know your stuff. You know, we were talking about being able to put a video on mintself.com. I would put that on mintself.com right now. It's, it's, and not think twice about it. Great job. Graham, you had the hardest implement in this challenge, and yet you blew away the judges. So you are today's winner. Congratulations. Wow. Oh, wow. Great job, buddy. Great job. You will uh, get an advantage in tomorrow's competition. Okay. So you can head back to the locker room. Thank you. Great Thanks, job. Great job, man. Great job, man. Appreciate it, man. Good luck, guys. Pete, Kevin, Andy. You are a bottom three today. The judges would like to speak to all of you. So we'll start with Pete. How do you feel it went? Um, I feel like I drew a blank somewhere in between. Um, I guess once I started introducing the bag after explaining how it was versatile, and then I just completely lost focus. Yeah, I gotta be honest. I, after you know watching the auditions, I, I expected more. When you came out, 
on that bear crawl, I thought I was watching Apocalypto. It was freakish, so great job on the bear crawl. Um, but good energy, fumbled a bit, but even when you fumble, you have a way of not making it awkward, which is good. Why would, what would be the purpose of using a water bag? Like, besides convenience or, or uh, versatility, like why, what, why what's the, the benefit bag? of it? Oh, it's asymmetrical loading, you could use it for anything. So you could, um, I'm bumbling everything here. Pete, you can step back. Kevin. You sort of wasted the first 320 of your challenge by not giving us an exercise you could do with a towel. As a viewer, I'm like, why am I watching this? In hindsight, I wish I didn't do three exercises lying on the towel. One of the things I used to do is freak out my boot campers. I'd say, you know what, bring a towel to this workout. We're doing the terrible towel workout. So let's just go right to the curl. So you did the curl and you showed the isometric curl and you're holding that and creating manual resistance. Now I could have showed that one arm at a time. You can take that towel, hold on to it and just pull it apart and create tension in the scapular area. I could make it a mobility and total body conditioning drill by adding hip rotation, pivoting hips, towel weights, kind of making it like a battle rope. So push up, hold tight, triceps on fire. So there were tons of opportunities beyond detaching. I think that that first three and a half minutes was wasted and um, unfortunately, I think that's gonna hurt you a little bit. Andy, please step forward. So Andy, with the, uh, the kettlebell, tell me if I misread this. Towards the end, I noticed you looking at the clock and it seemed like you were a little pressed on time or you wanted to fit more in. Did I? Did I yeah, did I, I mean, I, to be honest, I don't think I did a good job of selling that kettlebell today. As soon as I finished, I was like, man, I, I wouldn't have bought that kettlebell. The excitement factor, is really what we have to pull out of you. If, if you do continue here, you gotta just, you gotta find a way to pull it out. And, and it's, it's something where uh, if you don't, you won't be able to maximize the actual talent you have. DJ's exactly right. Make yourself super uncomfortable on camera. Yeah. Like, you know, it's a, it's a real challenge. Today, one of you will be going home. Kevin, please pack your gym bag. You'll be leaving us today. I mean, at least I'm not dead. I think it also brings a hunger back to get in there and keep learning, keep growing, and never, ever stop. Before you guys head back to the locker room, the judges just want to say one final word. Today, you underachieved. Both of you, I think, have something inside. Um, I've seen the auditions, and, and uh, I, I can appreciate what you're capable of. And I think in the future, that, that needs to come out. I want you guys to feel the heat because there's some really good people left here. I, I just think you guys have it all. I, I, and, but what's missing um, is your ability to put it all together. Yeah, things can change in a hurry. After yesterday, I was walking out of here going, you know, these two guys, they're my front runners, I think. Just bring it in the next challenge. I hope to see you keep moving on. All right, gentlemen, you can head back to the locker room. Thank you. Thank you. I really convinced myself that I was gone. Literally wiping my hands, because I was like, I'm gonna have to shake their hands, and they're sweaty. I just gotta kinda let loose a little bit and let myself fly and, uh, you know, not get so caught up in my head and, and, just, and just roll with it. I think we'll be good. Get it right, get it tight. <laughs> Next time on Men's Health Next Stop Trainer. This one is gonna save your family! What do you guys want? It's almost like they didn't know what the other person was doing. Here is your ES fit tip. All pushing, no pulling, results in hunchback and shoulder pain. Here's a great option, requires no equipment to work the backside of your body, at home, hotel room, the isometric towel row. Grab the ends of a towel, big beach towel works best. Grab it, drive the foot into the floor, and pull. Nice flat back position, natural arc in the back, and it's manual resistance. I'm using the towel to create tension on my upper mid back muscles, my rear shoulder, my biceps, my forearms. Hold for about 30 to 60 seconds, and the burn is real. Do it today.